Hey, it's Jordan. We're here with Christina. Uh, how far down from here do you live? Uh, about a mile and a half. And uh, you're on Wellwater too, right along the creek. Yes, sir. And uh, recently, you've started to feel sick. Yes, sir. Tell me what's been going on. I ain't been able to breathe hardly. As you can tell, I'm a little hoarse. And we've had diarrhea and stuff going on pretty bad at my house. Yeah, I've heard that from other people. And uh, when you shower, have you noticed anything in terms of smell? Yeah, and it feels oily. My water's just now starting to smell from it, though. It smells like rotten eggs. And you said it feels, when the water touches you, it feels oily? It feels oily. And uh, when you're outside, is there parts of the day or some days it smells worse than others? Yes. When it's, uh, when it's hot out, it smells worse. And uh, do you have any animals or anything? I've got a dog and three cats. How are they doing? They're doing all right, but they don't drink water out of my creek or my well water because Richard's been providing it for us. But other animals that have been drinking out of the creek are dropping dead. Have been dying. I've been seeing coons, been seeing deer dead, seen my, my dogs get this like they're sick one day and they're dead the next before you can even take them to the vet or anything. How many dogs do you think you've lost? Two. And uh, you said just by you smelling, inhaling whatever this is, you've been feeling sick? It's hard to breathe it. It's hard. To, I don't even like turning it on to wash my clothes. Did your animals used to drink from the creek? Yeah, I've had to, I've had about 20 roosters die on my dogs. Anything that drinks out of that creek, I had to go buy a store bought water or it'll die here. Are they are the ones that are left drinking out of the creek still? No, I buy water. Go, they deliver water. I ain't got many left. I ain't got three roosters left out of about 30. You got kids or anything? I've got a stepson. And uh, how's he doing with showering and drinking? About the same, same uh, as everybody. Diarrhea. Else. Yeah. And uh, what's the environmental department talking to you guys? The health department? Anybody? I haven't spoken to none of them. They won't return my phone calls. So you've been reaching out, but they're not. Who who have you reached out to? DEP. So they're reaching out to the state environmental protection agency, and they're not reaching out. You know, we were over yesterday, kind of side of the road. The water had some green stuff in it. It looked like uh, fungus or there's white stringy particles. Uh, it's got to be kind of scary. You don't know what's in the water. Yes, sir, it is. And uh, what else? Have you been having diarrhea? Anything else? It's just sick in my stomach. Uh, you drink coffee in the morning? I don't drink coffee. Good. Better for you. Um, tell me about uh, this community. I mean, this is the backwoods. People don't make a lot of money. Backwoods. People. There's a lot of good people around here. Yeah. Uh, most most of the people down there here's elderly people. So a lot of elderly people who already have kind of whatever health issues. Yeah. The water's contaminated with something, so who knows <laughs> what it's doing to them. Yeah. And you said that uh, somebody down the road, when the well exploded, he got burns. You almost got burnt. He was in the Burn Clinic for about two weeks. He, he was the Harlan. We just passed his house, and I told you that his well blew up on him, third-degree burns. And then he had some kind of respiratory thing happen, and he Don't was gone. Away, right? then he passed away about two weeks ago, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So for people that don't know, a water well is supposed to have water in it. So the water well is exploding. What could be in there that's giving somebody third-degree burns? That doesn't sound like just water. In the it's, well, it's uh, it's the methane gas coming up through where they're capping these wells back in here, and the gas has no other place to go except come out wherever it can come out. Uh, it, used to, it, was, it was coming out in the creeks. There's videos of you know bubbles coming up in the creeks and stuff. But uh, have you, with the diarrhea and everything, you lost weight the last couple of weeks? I've lost a little bit of weight, but I've always fluctuated. So, mm -hmm. and uh, for your kid and. Other people, other children, animals, I mean, you don't know if these symptoms are going to turn into worse down the road because you don't know what you're drinking. And if they're continuing to drink this water, it's just going to come back. They're going to stay sick. And that's what we're seeing. Uh, could these kind of things, right now it's causing, you know, the stomach stuff, but could this lead to potentially worse issues down the road? Yes. In, 
digesting all these chemicals that we are seeing that has been tested for these whales can cause cancer. It can cause all kinds of different things. So, especially if it's not treated. So, if it can, if they're continuing to drink this and they're not being notified that, hey, this water's really bad and has all these chemicals and they just keep drinking it, it's, it's not going to be a good result in the end. These people that are ending up with these stomach issues, they're coming in and it's not just, when you think of diarrhea, you just think, oh, they're just having diarrhea. No, you're, you're doing extreme abdominal cramps with this. People are coming in and they're having extreme abdominal cramps to a point where they're crying. They're fever, you know, they're sweating from fevers and it's, it's very painful. It's not just a, a normal diarrhea. Yeah, we met a woman who said her son, when she was coming to the home in Pineville and the whole uh, backyard was flooded, smelly, the garage was flooded, it smells horrible. He was getting fever, uh, coughing a lot. My little boy, every time he comes down, you know, he'll come down and just, he's usually running fevers, um, sneezing, coughing, and just sick. And it's sad they can't even come down and visit their grandmothers, I mean, <laughs> without being sick. You, you've seen that? Yes, we've seen a lot of the coughing included with that, but within the last year, we've noticed the really bad smell here on Indian Creek. As soon as you pull in, it was like really bad. And we were told we're not even supposed to be inhaling that. That's right. That's right. I hope they get it fixed, especially for the younger kids. Yeah. Can you talk about, uh, obviously this is coal country, so you got mines all over the place, some are abandoned. Uh, do you, do you, there's been explosions <laughs> coming out of people's wells? I've heard a couple in the last few few days. You've heard explosions? Yep. You don't know what it's coming from? Nope. Seems to me like they're just kind of, I don't know, sacrificing <laughs> this community. Who knows whether it's the gas or coal? You don't exactly know who's contaminating, but... Yep. All I know is they're making the rich richer and the poor poor. They don't care nothing about no little people like us. What about the politicians? I mean, this has been going on for over a year, and from what I've seen, not, I mean, the senators, the Congress people, the governor, they haven't come down here even look at this. Evidently, they ain't got no heart. That's why I don't vote. And uh, last question, uh, are you afraid, I mean, that people are going to start dropping dead around here? I am. Actually, my mom died about five months ago. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. She was sick for a while, or? Yeah. yeah. You, you kind of think in America that you don't have to worry about water, but. Hey. You got to worry. You got to, you got to live, man. And uh, your name's Christine. What's your lesson? Day. Day? Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.